All right, thanks everybody. Thanks for sticking around so late. I know it's been a long night, but uh, some of you have been here since the beginning when we announced last year and everybody said, Tim who? And uh, now you're still here today, so thank you for everybody for coming out. Thanks for everything. God bless America, exactly. Uh, first off, I want to be very honest and say I want to thank Senator Tester for his many decades of service to the state and country. We may disagree with him on policy, but it's a tough job, and I want to thank him for, uh, for his years of service. I have to thank uh, my wife, Carmen. As you guys probably know, she was... We met when we were teenagers and decided pretty soon thereafter we were going to spend the rest of our lives together. Uh, but then we didn't see each other very often, and as you probably know, we were then married via the mail. I'm a mail-order husband because she was deployed in Afghanistan and I was somewhere else, and we decided to get married, so we notarized a couple of forms and mailed them to Kalispell Courthouse, and uh, the rest was history. But she stuck with me through, through all kinds of crazy stuff, plane crashes, wars, uh, two wars, multiple deployments, and, uh, and we're still here, and now we're on to our next adventure. So thank you. I love you. Uh, my parents, who I literally wouldn't be here, I wouldn't exist if it wasn't for them, so I, I have to thank them. Uh, they, they have, uh, they've, they've taken on, uh, like many of you have here who are friends uh, and business partners, and, uh, and family, they've taken on so much responsibility at 72 years old. Uh, now they have, have to be quasi-parents of four young kids again as we've been running around the state trying to save this country. So thank you, Mom and Dad, for all your effort you put forward. Uh, my best friend and mentor, my brother Matt, I can't see him out there, he's here somewhere, I know he's actually here. Uh, wouldn't be anything without him, he's been, uh, since I was a little kid, uh, he used to beat me up, but then I became a Navy SEAL, and he thought better of that. So, he doesn't do that anymore, but I uh, wouldn't be anywhere without Matt. And of course, campaign team, I mean, I can't list all of you, I'm sorry. Uh, I know who you are, you know who you are. This has been a brutal campaign, uh, there's no question about it. 18 months, the lies that have been told about me, about my family, about you guys, I've had campaign staffers specifically singled out. Uh, and it's been a rough time for everybody. Uh, businesses and charities I'm involved in have even been targeted. So all of you who've been part of this campaign, I know you've endured a lot. Uh, my friends, family, and partners at Bridger Aerospace, you've been maligned terribly out there, but you've continued to do your job. You've put your head down, fought fires, and protected our communities uh, despite all that. So all of you on the campaign team and everyone else who's helped us out, thank you very much for your dedication to this country. Thank you. And everybody who voted for me, thank you. I have, um, since I was 18 years old, I've served this country. I sat on the dotted line, like many of you here did, and I was proud to serve my country overseas, came home, served my country fighting fires. Uh, and to those who did not vote for me, I will also serve you. Uh, just like I did in the military, I took an oath to serve all Americans, and I'll take an oath here to serve all Montanans. So I will earn your vote in the future. If you didn't vote for me, I will work to earn your support in future elections because we have to save this country and to save it we got to come together and figure out how to heal this country we have to disagree better and we got to actually move forward and stop arguing about everything we got to make some progress uh, to our miners to our loggers to our truck drivers our diesel mechanics our electricians our plumbers our carpenters to the people who work with your hands our ranchers and farmers who make this economy run you are the people that we have to make this economy work for again we've got to make sure that the folks who go to work every day work with their hands pay for their own education and put food on the table for their families we've got to make sure this economy works for them again that's going to be our top priority bring inflation down get real wages back up and make sure that if you work with your hands you can make a good living in this country and provide for your family And a key part of that is our resource economy. We've got to bring back our resource economy, and that hits home hugely here in Montana. We've got to unleash our energy, unleash our minerals, our coal mines. We were in, uh, uh, down at um, uh, Stillwater Mine recently. We have to unleash our coal. We've got to make sure our coal miners don't have to worry every single year that they're going to go out of business, they're going to lose their jobs. Our timber industry, copper, oil and gas. We need to unleash American resources. We do it better, safer, and greener here in America than anywhere else in the world, so let's do it here with Montana Jobs. And to our veterans, 
our police officers, our first responders, our military members, our firefighters out there, uh, you have a sacred duty. Uh, we're so grateful that every day you put on a uniform and you decide to put your life on the line to protect the rest of us. It's about time we stand behind you unequivocally. We've got to rebuild our military. Uh, we've got to make sure our military is ready to fight our next war uh, and prioritize combat lethality for our men and women in uniform. We owe them a lethal military, and we're going to give it to them. Uh, in Montana, our native brothers and sisters, it's about time we turn the page on relations here. We make sure we get our tribal communities back on their feet economically. We give them sovereignty and agency so that they can succeed economically, grow businesses on the reservation, and have the economic freedom uh, to grow the communities, have prosperity, and, and have a successful organic economy on every tribal community in the state. And, and finally, you've heard me say it a million times, I'll say it again, common sense. It's about time we bring common sense back to this country. And in Montana, we've run a grassroots campaign, as you all know. We couldn't outspend our opponents on the air. We couldn't beat them in the media. Uh, so we traveled the state, grassroots. We tr burned a lot of shoe leather, burned a lot of diesel. We visited every single county, most of them multiple times. And what we heard is Montanans want common sense back. They want a secure border, safe streets, cheap gas, cops are good, criminals are bad, boys are boys, girls are girls. Now, most of you here know the real Tim Sheehy. Uh, unfortunately, most of Montana knows Shady Sheehy at this point. So uh, over the next few months, hopefully, they'll get to know the real Tim Sheehy. And, uh, and they'll learn that uh, I've dedicated my life to this country, as is my wife, as is our family. Uh, we'll take, uh, this role will be no different. We are going to dedicate our time and our energies to make sure we get this country back on the right track. And we make Montana and America work for all Americans. Thank you so much for your support. God bless. Thank mm -hmm. you.